Hey guys, I'm Rogit, and this is my rant. We believe in the diversity of thought, especially in this video, on this channel. So, what am I talking about? This is going to be a hot take, and my roommates are asleep, and Bentley is uh, over there being Bentley. So, this is... This is my hot take about Robin Hood and why this is going to be why Robin Hood did nothing wrong and I stand by this um, I you know I may be dumb or stupid or uninformed but I don't care I, I don't care so what do I mean why did Robin Hood do nothing wrong well now there's over 30 lawsuits against Robin Hood for the GameStop and other stocks stock freeze AMC, BlackBerry, Nokia, Bed Bath & Beyond. So, they limited these trades so hedge funds could continue to buy them. But you and me, who use Robinhood or other places and stuff like that, you know, they, you know, they, you, you couldn't buy them. You could only sell them. You know, and, and they're not the only ones to limit it. You know, I know other brokerages did the same thing. And now recently you can do it again. But, you know, it's like, you know, people are saying, it's like, oh, Robin Hood, everything they stand for. Like, you know, s s take from the rich and give to the needy, give to the poor, you know, power to the players, GameStop, power to the small investors, the retail investors. Blah. Well, this is how I see it. Yes, they did go against what they did, but they had no choice. You know, Melvin Capital, whatever whatever the hell the name of the company is that they go through, there's a two-day period for the, for the trades to go through, and, you know, they were forced to do it. And, you know, they were either, like, forced to do it or they, they would cease to exist. First point. Why? So, second point. There's a ton of people who think trading is the best thing in the world since sliced bread, right? I mean, I, I think it's great too, right? But I invest, you know. You can trade all you want, and you can make money, and you end up paying more capital gains taxes on the things you trade because you make the profits from that. But if you invest long-term, you pay less in taxes. You only lose money when you sell. You only pay taxes on your capital gains when you sell. But people, all these tradings, all these, all these retards, who and I don't care that I said that. I don't care. They, they, they're just like, oh, I'll make a quick buck on GameStop. It was like, I'll get rich quick. You know, yeah, one guy on Dave Ramsey made forty-seven thousand dollars. Whoop de frickin' do. You know, it's trading. It's it's even more gambling than investing is. You know, trading is the in between gambling versus options trading. Investing. I invest. I don't trade. I mean, I'll I'll trade once in a while, but Robin Hood, what they, you know, in my opinion, they were forced to, but the second reason why Robin Hood did nothing wrong is because they were protecting people from making dumb decisions. It's like most people who trade, they trade based off emotion, not off logic. Investing is logic. Logical. Research. Fundamental analysis. Balance sheets. Revenue. Net, net, net income, that type of stuff. But no, everyone wants to trade and they want to, they want to get rich quick. But, you know, they were stopping people from buying these stocks that are from zombie companies, mind you, that are failing. They will die in the next couple of years. And they were just, they were, they were stopping people from making terrible decisions that losing money and then this prevented you know and, and you know m more people prevented from buying increased more selling more panic selling so the stock went lower and lower and lower and the stocks were going to go lower and lower anyway j j just because robin hood did this little stunt didn't mean the stocks weren't going to go down like i i laughed my ass off when i saw GameStop at 470 on january 28th midday i'm just like oh yeah i'll let's see how long this lasts now it's like 50 fucking dollars like give me a freaking break 
you're pissed off that you couldn't make quick money off of all these stupid stocks. Shame on you. You know, you you fell for it. You 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 went with the herd mentality. You went with the majority. You didn't think about the minority mindset. You didn't. You're just like, ooh, I'm gonna make a quick buck. Oh, ooh, smooth brain. I mean, they protect. They they basically protected a lot of naive invest uh, investors and investors, a lot of naive traders, from making that mistake and losing a ton of money. You know. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Really think, really think about it. Everyone's flipping out about this, and and yet, yeah, Robinhood went against what they were, you know, what what their main slogan is. But think about it. Would you, you know, you know, not everyone has hundreds or thousands of dollars to risk or lose. You know, if you, you know, if you had an extra hundred, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars laying around and you're just like, oh, I'm going to invest in these meme stocks from Reddit and I'm going to make some money. Oh, yeah. You know, if you hindsight being 2020, do you know the perfect time to sell? Do you know the perfect time to buy? Do you have a crystal ball? Because, you, you, you know, pretend there's a crystal ball. I don't have one and neither do you. That's my hot take. Like it. Don't like it. I don't give a shit. But, you know, you can say Robinhood did all these things wrong and they don't have a direct customer support line. They don't have a retirement account function. They, they don't allow you to really trade cryptos. It's just cryptocurrency. It's just a derivative system. You, you can make all these complaints. Then go somewhere else. Take all your freaking money. Put it into Weeble. Put it in Fidelity. Charles Schwab. M1 Finance. Whatever tickles your fancy. Whatever tickles your ass. Wh whatever. Put it somewhere else. Stop complaining. That's it. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you didn't like the video. If you didn't like my face, my topic, my hot take, my Seaway Big Vibe shirt. Remember to smash that dislike button subscribe if you want to see more crazy content from this crazy guy hit that bell notification right down there might work might not have a great rest of the day i'll talk to you next time